good morning, friends. All right, friends, Shh. try it again. Good morning, everybody. Today is a pretty spectacular day. Anybody want to tell me what today is? Yeah. It's the last day of school, full of joy, maybe some sorrow, some sadness. But we're going to talk about all of that later. Right now is the time to rejoice because we come together to worship our great God. So I'm going to have you guys stand up with me. We begin today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's see, I think we got a song. Oh, we do have a song, but I clicked through. There we go. We got a song, and I think we have volunteers. Well, no, there are volunteers. All right, volunteers, we feeling ready? We all mine? Good to go? All right. We're going to sing our first song, I Just Want to Be a Sheep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. And pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I don't want to be a Pharisee. A Pharisee? I don't want to be a Pharisee. A Pharisee? Because they're not fair. Oh, <laughs> what a funny joke to be a Pharisee. A Pharisee? <laughs> I don't want to be a Sadducee. A Sadducee? Because they're so
hole, he couldn't croak or jump to save his soul. But then one day it was the funniest thing. He started growing and turning green while he jumped up on a lily pad. Broken on a song, did it all he had. He seen more frogs and butterflies, both of them born again. More frogs and butterflies, both of them born again. More frogs and butterflies, both of them born again. More frogs and butterflies, both of them born again. Little caterpillar on a blade of grass Noticing the day going by so fast She's a lovely little lady Looking for a room Weaving and a spinning out of fine cocoon Why it didn't take long till she saw the sky Spread your wings you butterfly She's singing At the beginning, maybe you feel like you did something you shouldn't have. But at the end, you get to be reminded that you are a child of God and you are loved very deeply. So I'm going to have you join me as we confess our sins to God. You speak those bold parts. Heavenly Father, often we forget how much you bless us. Forgive us, God. We fail to use our mouth to bless you and bless others. Forgive us, God. Help us to be truthful. Help us to use kind words. Forgive us, God, when we don't. God loves you with a great and lasting love. Jesus died on the cross to save you. And God speaks these words of truth to you. You are forgiven. Praise and glory be to Jesus. All right, we are going to sing another song. And you can stay seated for this one. In my doubts, in my fears, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my trouble sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my trouble sea. In the silence, you won't let go. Your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa. You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness
nice job, friends. I am going to miss this part of chapel. Here you guys all sing so loud, so proud about our King Jesus. All right. Do you guys remember what our theme was for this year? We talked about it at the beginning. Might as well talk about it at the end. What was it about? It was about being connected. What does that mean? Connected? What? Seems weird. Yeah? Being connected to God? Yeah, what else? Yeah. Connected to the Bible? Anybody else got anything? Yeah. Yep. And to the Holy Spirit? Yeah, all sorts of things. Connected to God. You know, we can also be connected to each other. So I'm going to ask some questions. You can put your hands down. I'm going to need you to listen, not to talk. And if you feel like it fits you, you can go ahead and put your hand up. So who, over the course of this year, feels like they connected with their friends? Okay. Who, hands down. Who here, over the course of the years, feels like they connected with their teacher? Okay, hands down. This one's for the teachers, of the teachers. Do you guys feel like you connected with your students? Yeah, there we go. I like how, did you guys, you guys are probably teachers too, that's all right. All right, here's a big one. Who here feels like they connected with God this year? Awesome. We spent a whole year getting connected. We made friends. We made friends with our teachers. There was a lot of love. Who here, this isn't a connected one, but I'd be intrigued to know, who here is sitting right now, they feel like they got a lot of love in their heart from the last year. A lot of love, right? Peace Lutheran had a lot of love this year as we got connected. But, you know, we have our theme verse. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We connected, we loved, we learned all these things. But today is the last day of school. Anybody here enjoy cleaning out their locker or their classroom and throwing stuff away? Yeah? I was that student. I loved cleaning out my locker because it felt like it was my chance. Oh, friends, it felt like it was my chance to disconnect. You spent a whole year learning, right? You have all this paper, all these uh, homework assignments and the books and the folders. It felt so good to just dump it all out and disconnect and go into summer. So I'm not going to lie, I got a little jealous walking around. I got a little jealous walking around seeing you guys empty out your lockers. So I'm going to have you help me empty out some stuff from my office. We're not all going to go to my office. I brought it here. So I need your help to see if I should get rid of it. All right, friends, help me disconnect for the summer. So I got here some homework. You think I need to keep my homework? Yeah. Probably not my homework. That's going out. All right, I got here all sorts of handouts from my teachers. Do you think I need my handouts anymore? I think that can go too. I'm already feeling good. I'm disconnecting, right? All right, well, hmm. I got my, my friends here and all the fun stuff I did. Should I throw that out? Should, shouldn't I keep that? I think I should, I should probably keep that around. Because I made a lot of friends this year, and I don't want to lose them. All right, well, I, I got the Bible. I should keep that, too. All right, I guess I should probably keep the Bible, too. We'll keep those two things around. All right, friends, although today is the end of school, it's not the time to disconnect like I kind of led you to believe. We should stay together. We should stay connected because this is what comes after our theme verse. And I'm going to have you read it with me. It says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands, and remain in his love. I have 
told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Wow. Does this sound like we should disconnect? Doesn't it say we should remain in some stuff? I'm glad to see that you all raised your hands when I asked if you connected with God because that's like the big thing. You guys feel like you learned a lot about God and Jesus this year? Yeah? Did you like learning about God? Do you think we should stay connected to God over the summer? Good! I am so happy to hear that. Jesus says, stay in my love. Who here likes being in Jesus' love? I think our hands should be up on that one. Jesus' love is a great place to be. And he says, you go ahead and you stay in that. But not only should we stay in Jesus' love, but we should stay connected to each other. Even after those verses, he says, go and love. Did you you guys spend the year loving each other? Yeah? Did you feel loved? Yeah? Uh, Sometimes? Well, hopefully we loved each other. Because Jesus says, when you stay in my love and you go out and love other people, you're going to be full of joy. Is anybody full of joy today? Yeah? I know, I know. There is maybe some bittersweetness that school is ending. But stay connected, friends. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you guys can stay connected? Who do you think we should stay connected with? Let's see who's paying attention. So stay connected with God. Who else should we stay connected with? And, okay, I'll make it easy. You guys got the first one. Stay connected with God and with Jesus and the Bible and the Holy Spirit. We covered all the faith stuff. What's the other one? Who, who else should we stay connected with? Friends! We should stay connected with each other. Guys, I'm going to tell you a big secret. It's something that I thought about as I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to say today. Are you guys going to go home and be with family this summer, right? Spend time with family? Well, I want you to look around this room right now real quick. A lot of people in this room, right? You ready for the big secret? These people are your family too. What? Your teachers are your family, and your friends are your family, your classmates are your family. We are all one big family in Christ. So do you think we'll stay connected? Friends, do you think we'll stay connected? I know we're going to stay connected because we are in Christ, and does he stay forever? Yes. So I hope you all have a phenomenal, fun, super awesome summer, but I hope you stay connected to God, and I hope you stay connected with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you all back again next year. Those of you who are coming back, I look forward to seeing you as we continue to grow and stay connected. All right, we are going to have our offerings at this time. Yep. And I'll invite you guys to stand as we take our offering and we pray. Dear God, we give you thanks for this day, for seeing us through another school year, for giving us the blessings of love, of friends, of teachers, and ultimately, the love of your Son. Lord, I ask that you protect us this summer, help it to be refreshing, and help us to stay connected to you and to one another. All we ask in your Son's name, amen. All right, friends, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, friends, we've got two more songs. You can stay standing, and I need my volunteers back down in front.
Excuse me. It is time to sing our song, friends. Ready? I like bananas. You know that mangoes are sweet. I like papayas. Papayas? But nothing can beat the sweet love of God. Do, 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 do. I like my daddy. You know that siblings are great. I like my mama. But nothing can beat the family of God. Do, 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 do. I like Target. You know that Kmart is cheap. I like Walmart. Walmart? But nothing can beat the free gifts of God. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a little faster. I like bananas. You know that mangoes are sweet, I like papayas, papayas, but nothing can beat the sweet love of God. Do, 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 do. I like my daddy, you know that siblings are great, I like my mama, but nothing can beat the family of God. Do, 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 do. I like Target. You know that Kmart is cheap, I like Walmart, Walmart, but nothing can beat the free gifts of God. Do, 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 do. Oh my, even faster. I like bananas, you know that mangoes are sweet, I like papayas, papayas, but nothing can beat the sweet love of God. Do, 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 do. I like my daddy, you know that siblings are great, I like my mama, but nothing can beat the family. Of God, do, 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 do. I like Target. You know they came out cheap. I like Walmart, Walmart, but nothing can beat the free gifts of God. Do, 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 do. Alright friends, one more time we receive God's blessing 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. All right, Mr. Thompson, I think we're... I got the black screen, so it's time to hand it over. Thank you so much for leading us in chapel today. All right, I need to I need to hear it one more time with a great big loud This is the day the Lord hath made. <laughs> That will carry us through to summer. Awesome. Now, we have several things we need to do yet here. We want to recognize a few people for their accomplishments this year. Uh, we have some birthdays to do, some baptismal birthdays, and all that kind of stuff. But just wanted to connect. Guys, Pastor was talking uh, in his message about, you know, summer and all that kind of stuff. I just want to remind you, we only have 95 more days to the first day of class for 24-25. So it will be here, okay? I want everybody to go home, and I, I want you to start your countdown. Five more days if we get to come back together and do it again. I'm excited. I look forward to the start of school year. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do our baptismal birthdays. We want to do our baptismal birthdays for the month of June and the month of July. And then we will do August when we return in 95 days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so please, as a reminder, remember we did do 4K already, so when you hear your name for your baptismal birthday, please come on up, and bracelets should have been passed out for you. Um, first grade, Aiden, Ezra, Charlie, Mason, and Eden for June. Second grade, Liam for June baptismal birthdays. Third grade, Sawyer. Fifth grade, Allison. And then in seventh grade, we have Ashlyn and Levi. <laughs> and July. So for July, we have Kinsey in kindergarten. First grade, Trayson and Hazel. Third grade, Jax. Sixth grade, Tyler. <laughs> and seventh grade, Oliver, Madeline, and Reese. Let's go ahead and sing for these guys for, as they celebrate their baptisms. What a wonderful gift we have. Ready and... Thank you. You may have a seat. Enjoy those baptismal birthdays over the summer. All right. 
side as they settle down. We also have a lot of birthday birthdays coming up. So this past week while I was gone, I don't think they were announced. So I'm going to have you guys come on up here. Liam, I think you had a birthday yesterday. Liam Walters, where are you at? Come on up. Uh, and Paisley, Paisley, you had a birthday today, didn't you? Paisley, how fun to have your birthday on the last day of the school year, only 95 days before the next school year begins. All right. Some June birthdays. Come on down. We have Aiden, Braylon, Eden, Ezekiel. You can come on up here anywhere. Hazel, Savannah, Charlie, Grace Rustic, Grace Schrofer, Nikki Heinzen. Come on, you're here. You chose it. Ian Young, is Ian here? Owen, Maximus. We have Rylan, Tyler. Isabel, Pearl, I'm in July now. Ian, Kenzie. Some of these might be fourth cares. Uh, Mila, Dixie, Rowan. Jordan, Cole, Sean, Hayden, Lakeland, Cheyenne. This should be all my June and July birthdays. Am I missing any June or July birthdays? All right, Mrs. Hinden will lead us. You're not going to lead. All right. Let's sing happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your birthdays. Now you're happy you came. <laughs> awesome. All right, in just a moment, we're going to recognize students in 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade that will be receiving the high honors certificates uh, for the 23-24 school year. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to recognize a few other people before we move on. Uh, I would like to have Ms. Linda Schmidt stand up, wave. Please say a huge thank you for Ms. Schmidt. Everybody who enjoys going to the library, she's the one that makes it happen. So another round of applause. Thank you so much for all you do throughout the year. I would also like to recognize Ms. Young, who keeps all of our technology happening here and will be playing videos for us in a minute. I would also like to recognize, we have one representative, I'd like to recognize our pastors, if Pastor Fenske could stand up and just you know, they do so much for us from chapels to 
religion class to keeping us going. So thank you, pastors. I'd like to recognize Jay for keeping the building clean and all he does. There we go. Why not? He walked in. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to point out uh, some very special people that are around us today and many days that help us when we are struggling with math papers or reading or just help us with our behavior sometimes. And that is all of our teacher aides that do so much to make our school wouldn't function without our teacher's aides, basically. So uh, I'd like to have our teacher's aides stand up. Uh, and I believe, Ms. Kaylee, you wanted to give a speech, right? No? No. She has a speech for painting? All right. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, I've said many times, what makes a school a school is our teachers. You can have a building with a lot of books, and they call that a library. You can have a building with lots of rooms, and they call it a warehouse. But it's not until you put teachers in a building that a school becomes a school. So teachers, let's stand up and let's hear it for all your teachers, guys. All right, and finally, um, we will now go ahead and we will do those high honors recognitions. I'm going to invite. Okay. He got a belly rub already. All right. Um, I would. Where did Mrs. Dykey go? I know you. There you are. I'm going to invite Mrs. Dykey up here. Um, she will kick us off with recognizing our fifth graders. So uh, these are students that maintained a 92% grade point average for all four quarters. So first, second, so these guys really used their smarticles um, and applied themselves in class. So these are high honors for 23-24. As your name is read, please come forward. I will hand you a certificate, and you will stay up here until your entire class is with you. Sam Churchill. <laughs> Leland. Nick Howard. <laughs> Colton Livermore. <laughs> Reuben Lucht. <laughs> Hayden Marks. Emma Michaels. Lydia Rosio. And Jackson Woodward.
Miss Keasley. All right, for sixth grade, we have Autumn Fetterman. Liam Johnson and Eden Schultz. Nice job. Nice job, sixth graders. Awesome. Nice job, guys. Excellent. Looks like school gets harder in sixth grade. All right. Have a seat, guys. Congratulations. If I can have Ms. Fenske come on up here. Okay, for seventh grade, we have Madeline Gilbert. <laughs> Dane Michaels. Levi Reamer. Yeah. And Carson Yuska. Okay, for eighth grade, it is the girls. Marie Fuller, Allie Fuller, Bailey Heinzen, Holland Tainter, and Evelyn Lucht. And there it is. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right, with that, I think the only thing we really have left that we need to do is, it looks like we're running our video, and this is just a few of the pictures from the year gone by. I would like to thank Mrs. Newsom for putting this together for us. Thanks a lot.
All right. Well, guys, thank you for a wonderful year. It's been an awesome year getting to know so many of you. Um, and yeah, so let's have some summer. But don't forget, 95 days back here. Let's get it done. <laughs> 13 and a half weeks. All right. Guys, God bless you on your summer. We'll see you later. Leave.